Hi, my name is Hussam Ibrahim. I work at private therapy clinic. I am a systemic psychotherapist, a psychologist, and a mental health specialist practitioner. I am duly registered with two professional bodies. I have over 27 years of work experience in public and private sector. I am particularly experienced in providing individual therapy as well as family therapy, and I work very well with couples in couple therapy. I am fully aware of different treatment modality in psychology and psychotherapy, and I am able to actually tailor the most appropriate therapy that could suit clients' needs. This is going to be discussed with the clients so that the clients have a knowledge and appropriate understanding of what might work well with them. The clients is also given the choice in what treatment modality can best suits their needs and we can work together towards achieving their goals. So setting goals is very important for therapy. I have the experience in providing and applying all treatment modalities such as CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, in which we can work together identifying uh, alternative ways of managing our anxiety, our emotional problems, and I also have the experience in Dialogical Behavioral Therapy anxiety management and I can work with family in family therapy and with couples in couple therapy as well. I am also very much interested in working with young people because I'm fully aware of the challenges that teenagers and young people might be facing in this day and age. My style of therapy is based on therapeutic relationship. I would therefore uh, like to have first a problem-free discussion with the clients to help the clients be at ease, feel less anxious, so that they can talk freely and openly about the nature of their psychological difficulties and how is it impacting on them. I will then utilize some evidence-based questioning technique to help the client reflect and unfold the problem and the psychological difficulties they might be experiencing as well as the emotional problems. My style of therapy is based on understanding, trust, as well as very transparent way of working with the clients. This would mean that as the problem gets unfolded in the initial assessment at the, at the beginning of therapy, we will be able to categorize the problems you might be experiencing. And also I will help you and guide you to actually identify what would be the most important issue that you would like to address in therapy. Once we do that, I will be discussing with you different treatment modality and I will help you to make a choice of what fits better and what you feel most comfortable to work on. Once we agree on your choice of treatment, aims and objectives are going to be identified. So I will follow this with a written care plan to you so that it can be very transparent and clear to you on what you are aiming to achieve in therapy. I think what makes a good practitioner is not only the ability to listen and reflect with the clients, it's also about the capacity for the therapist to provide safe environment based on respect and confidential so that the clients can feel at ease when they unfold their difficulty and the problem. Also, it is so important for the therapist to be able to think in a holistic way by exploring the impact of the psychological difficulties on the, on the person's behavior, on, uh, um, whether it is at work or within the family as well. In my style of therapy, I am very tactful with people and I also I enjoy very good interpersonal skills. It might be difficult for some people to accept that they have some 
difficulties, psychological difficulties, problems with the relationship, and how is it impacting on our emotions. Some people might have difficulty regulating those emotions, not just recognizing them as such. It is therefore very important that you need to normalize those kind of, uh, of, of difficulties you might experience. In this day and age, we are confronted with a lot of difficulties in our life financial difficulties or difficulties in relationship and therefore some of us might need someone who can help and uh, help them explore, talk about this, ventilate their feelings about the impact of these difficulties on their mental health. It is therefore normal to seek psychological help, to seek someone who could actually explore with you the impact of psychological problems, relationship difficulties on your health and, your way, and on your relationship. I believe to be a, a very successful therapist, you really need to experience how it is like for you being in a therapy room. How is it like for you thinking and exploring the way you feel and the way you think about a particular problem you might experience? It had been difficult for me several years ago when without any preparation and without any knowledge, I find myself a main carer for my mom, my elderly mom who suffered an acute version of dementia. I used to be the main carer for her and I had the responsibility of looking after her in all aspects of care. This actually had impacted on my mental health. I impacted on my, on my relationship as a husband, impacted on my relationship with my children, and also it started to have an impact on my, in my work. I felt at some point I needed someone who can encourage me to talk and ventilate my feelings and actually validate the, uh, the suffering I had been through. And that was actually very helpful for me. At some point, I felt it, I, I felt safe to cry in the room because the therapist had provided and offered a safe environment, building up a trusting relationship with me. And I felt so empowered to express my feeling to this therapist. And I think I have learned on the importance and the power of therapy in helping me understanding my emotions, regulating my emotions in a very appropriate way.